Hey everybody, hopefully you're having a good day. Uh, my name's Andy, my channel is Finding Value. If you like making money, if you like looking at undervalued investments and sectors, uh, if you like that financial education, sub click subscribe. Love to have you on the channel uh, and join our community. Ride this bull market up in commodities with us. Uh, it's a great community. Give me a thumbs up for the content. I'm going to talk about renewable energy. And you're gonna say, well, renewable energy isn't really, it's not really a commodity. And it's like, well, if they're gonna throw this much money at it, I think we're gonna to have to look at it. Uh, because, I mean, this is this is multiple trillions of dollars and that that's a lot of money. I mean, that's, I mean, you start writing with all, if you just write it on a piece of paper with all those zeros, it's like, whoa, that's uh, that's ridiculous. And I agree, it is ridiculous. And that's why we gotta look at it. <laughs> So I'm gonna look at the technical charting of renewable energy. And these are the kind of the renewable energy type companies uh, that are making wind turbine engines and, and, and or putting in those types of, of, of large renewable projects. Uh, it's those type of higher level companies. So that's what I'm gonna focus on on this presentation is the technical analysis of renewable energy. So let's dive in, take a look at some of the charts and see if there's any opportunities there. And I call this spending galore. I think it's prudent to look into renewable energy since it seems like they are going to dump, you know, they're going to they're going to dump a bunch of men, uh, money on these companies, a bunch. Let's look at the charts uh, for some of these companies in this sector to see if if we've missed the boat, if there's some opportunities uh to to catch, you know, a pullback, whatever it is. So, I have first here is Nextera Energy. They install a lot of renewable uh, power, and, and this thing is in a very strong uptrend. Um, I probably would not feel comfortable jumping in at this time, but looking at the chart, there's no real big pullback anywhere. I mean, this thing just goes straight higher. So, I mean, if you want to jump in, that's up to you. Uh, I, I really don't like to chase, but this thing is in a pretty strong uptrend. Uh, no denying that. Uh, El El Elba Merle, Elba Merle, however you say this. This one's in an uptrend, obviously. Uh, it's got a channel that it's bouncing back and forth between. So it, it just bounced off its upper, upper channel. I'd probably wait to see if it gets back more towards this lower channel here. Uh, so that's what I would be doing, looking at maybe like $100, $105, somewhere down there, $110 uh, eventually. Depends how long it takes. Uh, but it doesn't look like it's like it's just going to shoot higher. So it looks like we're in a pullback mode. This one's TPI Composites Incorporated. Uh, it was kind of going in this channel here. It popped out in 2019, did the whole COVID sell-off, did that dance. Now we're shooting back up, and it overshot the channel, and it wanted to come back uh, like, like gravity. Came right back into the channel. So this thing is jumping around. It's got a pretty large momentum right through here, and then a kind of a weaker pull pull up here. So I, I probably wouldn't touch it, not, not yet at least. Here's DQ DQ Energy New Energy Corporation. Nice big pattern here. This is a monster pattern. And remember what I say about monster patterns. Monster patterns change lives. Uh, this is what I would consider to be cheetah mode, and. When I say cheetah and cheetah Chris and all this other stuff, it, it just means that when this psychological containment ceases to exist on this chart, it wants to go a lot higher very quickly. And you can see it move extremely fast up. And we're, we're in a pullback right now. Uh, but this one from this type of, you know, this size of base, this thing could run quite a long ways. And it did. It went all the way to $130 from, thir from like $15. $15 to... 140. So it's gonna it's gonna need some time to rest up there. I probably wouldn't jump in. Here's Sunrun, another company. It looks like it's putting in a head and shoulders pattern. But this is when you want to get them. When when you see these large patterns and they break, it's like see you wouldn't want to be you, and then they went all the way to 100 100 bucks up here from from 25 under 25 dollars. Boom, and now it's coming back. It looks like it's consolidating a little bit, but this could be a shoulder ahead. Maybe it comes back up and creates a shoulder and then comes back down, maybe. Maybe. This one's Vestas Wind Energy. This one looks pretty good. I mean, this is a gigantic pattern here. We've got the, the line going across the uh, 
resistance line, broke through it, ran quite a bit, went from 30 something bucks all the way to 80 bucks or so. It's pulled back to 69. So that's looking pretty good. Might see a little bit more pullback here, maybe a little bit. Same with Gamisa, large chart break pattern, boom, just rocketed higher after the break. And then we're pulling back a little bit. This one's Brookfield Renewable Partners. Again, whenever you see these things break like this, I get super excited. It broke, back tested on the COVID sell off, and then gone. The structural, the structural changes in these for renewables, uh, this is a structural change which is happening. This is going to be a big change. This was an event driven COVID sell off in a structural change, and that's why it went rocketing right back higher. This was a huge opportunity to pick this up. Huge opportunity. This one's Ibadrola, I guess. This is the the uh, resistance downtrend line. Broke it. See you. Wouldn't want to be uh, gone. Cheetah mode. Would I buy it up here? I don't know. It's I hate chasing. I hate chasing. This one is Asus uh, Alps Clean Energy ETF. So this is an ETF. Uh, you can see we've got a little bit of a pattern here. Broke the pattern. See ya. This was breaking out before COVID. COVID sell-off gave everybody the opportunity of a lifetime. Gone. Right up here. That's a 4X out of nowhere. One year, 4X almost. This is TAN, the Invesco Solar ETF. Large pattern here. Mega pattern. You broke it. Back tested on the COVID sell-off. Vertical, straight vertical. Would I go and chase it here? I don't know. I, I don't like chasing. This one's uh, iClean, ICLN, the iShares Global Clean Energy ETF. Large pattern break, back test on COVID, and then the straight vertical move from, I don't know, eight something to $32. And then we're kind of pulling back. Now, these are very large decade long patterns, guys. They're, 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 they're massive. So uh, obviously people were anticipating that these were going to be adopted and the prices uh, have shot higher uh, quite, quite quickly. And uh, I'm, they could go a lot higher. I mean, you're talking about trillions of dollars that these people are gonna throw in this. Uh, I, they, these come with a lot of baggage though. I mean, massive baggage, massive baggage. And what I mean by baggage, it's like, they're, the way that people calculate this stuff in terms of, oh, it's only a penny per kilowatt or something like that. It's like, yeah, but you, you got to get batteries. You got to get all these other things. It's it, it comes with a bunch of baggage. I mean, the the power produced by the solar panel that might cost a penny, but you have to you have to also put in a nuclear uh, a base. We'll call it a swing producer. You have to put in a swing producer natural gas plant with all this. Then you have to put in four times because the renewables are uh 10% to 30% of the time is when they generate electricity given just if it's windy that's wind turbines if it's got uh the solar so if you, you got to have sun if it's cloudy it doesn't make nearly as much uh, at nighttime it doesn't make anything so it really only produces energy 10 to 30% of the time if it's you take the average, say 20%, 25%, you got to install four or five times the amount that you need if you want steady power. Then you got to have batteries. You got to increase the infrastructure uh, of all the power lines and all this stuff. I mean, it, this is this is <laughs> they are going to spend a lot of money here. Uh, so I it I wanted to look to see what these look like because if they're going to do this, uh, we're going to be building the heck out of these things. I mean, they're going to build massive amount uh if 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 they're going that route and it looks like they are so uh, i wanted to see what these charts look like because if there was some that were really low that just broke out or something i mean i'd i'd be willing to throw a little bit of money in there uh just to to capture that ride but right now it looks like a lot of them have gone vertical they've got four or five six hundred percent moves uh, on a lot of them so i'm gonna see i'll watch them i want to see them pull back into an area and kind of carve out a nice big basing pattern again. If you guys like this content, give me a thumbs up. Let me know your opinions in the comment section. Love to hear them. Uh, and thank you for listening. This is Finding Value.